Hey, welcome back to our hungry adventures and welcome back to Koh Samui, one of the most beautiful and popular travel destinations in Thailand. And perhaps you already know that Thailand is fully reopened and there has been done a lot to improve the quality of the tourism. For example, Thailand Tourism Standard, which was developed by the Department of Tourism. It is a number of requirements and quality standards for businesses and tourism establishments to promote confidence in Thailand tourism industry in terms of uniqueness, safety, service, hygiene and cleanliness. And I got an invitation to review a few places certified with Thailand Tourism Standard here on Koh Samui and share this experience with you guys. So what are we going to do on this trip? We will be staying in an amazing five-star resort, enjoying extremely delicious Thai food in spectacular fire show by the beach. We will be exploring one of the most beautiful national parks of Thailand, where we could find the most stunning beaches in the country, excellent hiking trails, breathtaking landscapes and many more. As always, there will be a lot of interesting, so get ready to enjoy the adventure! There is a wide list of requirements for hotels to get certified with Thailand Tourism Standard related to location and environment protection, general construction, parking and pickup service, restaurant and kitchen hygiene, swimming pool cleanliness, room sizes, furniture, recreation services, fire system, safety and ventilation systems, night illuminations, employees and many more. This combination has been developed to boost travelers' confidence in high standards of hygiene and safety at hotels and resorts across the country. First of all, let me show you the place where we'll be staying tonight. It is a five-star resort located on the beautiful Chungmon Beach and it is called Royal Myung Samui Villa. This resort was certified with Thailand Tourism Standard, which means it fits all requirements and criteria developed by Department of Tourism. And today we will be reviewing it together. And I already saw the pictures of this resort. And trust me, you're gonna love it. What is up? What is up? What is up? Okay, sure. What you have? Yeah, sure. So, welcome drinks. Wow. Yes, this is Thai tea, banana candy, and refreshing towel. Please enjoy. Amazing. Thank you very much. Coffee cup, coffee cup. Alright guys, I got my room key, but before we will see the room itself, let's take a tour of this resort, let's see the facilities, let's see the beach, come on! Guys, this is Kun Fon, she's gonna show us everything around. Yes, welcome sir. Okay, wow, everything is so green. What do you have? This is our main swimming pool. Our restaurant name is Spice Zone Beach Restaurant. Spice Zone Beach Spice Restaurant. Spice Zone, yes. We open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. This is our beach bar. Beach bar. Yes. Every Friday we will have the sand dance party. Mm -hmm. We have the live music with DJ and fire show. On Friday. Yes, every Friday, Friday evening. What is the day today? Today, today, yes. Ah, okay. Yes. <laughs> That's amazing. Yes. <laughs> If no rain, you will see the fire show. Okay. Yes. We are very lucky with weather. And what a fantastic place. Ideal sunny day, crystal blue water. An amazing long and white white sand beach. What else do you need for perfect holidays, huh? Wow, what a place. It's just amazing. Mm. 
This is our spa. สวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีครับ Welcome to Cape Reira Beach Spa. Yes, my name is t u n i I'm spa manager here. Okay, nice yes. to meet you. Yes, today we proud to present our spa, Cape Reira Beach Spa. Only one spa in k o s m o i spa in the Cape. Really? Yes, wow. like no other. Wow, amazing. Yes. Let me show you inside. Sure, sure. Yes. We have five treatment room. Let me show you. This air condition room, wow. suitable for a couple. We have the water floor. What an amazing idea to build the cave and make a spa center inside of it! Absolutely fascinating. I think I should come here again a little bit later to get my massage. I'm ready to see my room. Finally. Wow, guys, I'm really in love with this resort and especially with architecture because all of these brown bricks have been brought from Ayutthaya, and all of the roof tiles are handmade from Songkhla Province. And even here at the porch at the entrance, there is a huge pot, and I ask k u n f o n what is this pot for? Long time ago, it was a Thai tradition, which actually exists even now. So before entering your room, people used to wash their feet, which is why here there is a pot with water and a huge spoon made with coconut shell, which is quite amazing. This is probably the first time I'm seeing something like this in Thailand or anywhere else in the world. We have s i k l u m Thai, so I proud to show you our p u v i l l a s Okay. See you. Mm, yes. Nice. Okay, welcome. This is our p u i l l a Sea View. Mm. Here is the living room. You can see the the ocean from here. And our p u v i l l a s i v i l have size as 160 square meters, mm -hmm. and this is our master bedroom. Guys, I was wondering why there is dry coconut on the bed, but it is actually a sign to the housekeeper if you are still happy with your bed sheets, if you don't want to change your bed sheets. If you don't want your bases to be changed, then you keep this uh, dry coconut on the bed. First time I'm seeing something like this, but uh, this is a green hotel. Yeah, amazing architecture and high standards. Wow. Our hotel has 79 rooms, and every room has jacuzzi. Exciting! <laughs> ah, and what is this food for? This is uh, our floating breakfast. Uh huh. Would you like to try? And this is something really amazing, guys. Floating breakfast. 
never tried it before. In fact, I've never tried to eat in the swimming pool, in the water. How does it feel? And since we've got this opportunity, we need to try it. We need to try it, guys. Mini burger with salmon and egg. Bellissimo. Trust me, it's amazing. Mm. All right, and now, finally, time has come to see my room. <laughs> and change the clothes. And this is a full suite garden view. This is your room for tonight. The size of the room is 125 square meters, but you got the private pool as well. And you also got your own jacuzzi because every room in our hotel has jacuzzi. And the door can access to the pool as well. Oh. Guys, this is absolutely amazing. Such a huge room. 125 square meters, private pool, jacuzzi. Absolutely amazing resort. Anyway, I need to take a shower, change these clothes, and get ready for the evening party on the beach. I'm waiting for the fire show. Guys, we still got some time because the fire show starts at 8 p.m which means we can go back to spa, try some massage, and then enjoy dinner by the beach. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my special waterfall treatment room. Time to take shower right here, get dressed, and enjoy the massage. And to be honest, this is probably one of the most amazing travel experiences I had in my entire life. And trust me, you're gonna try it yourself too, because places certified with talent for standard are simply amazing. They are unique, they are so special. I just can't find the right words to describe. All right, I am ready. Sit down. Wow, guys, it was definitely one of the best experiences in my life. So amazing. Now I understand the difference between spa and a regular massage. I feel like a brand new man, for real. I don't know. My skin is glowing. Really brand new man. And hungry man. <laughs> My name is Chef Nu. Nice to meet you, Chef Nu. I'm Mickey. Nice to meet you too. Uh, I am executive sous chef at the Loyal Meung Samui Villa. Mm -hmm. Today I have prepared set dinner for you. Start from the appetizer. This one called Gung Salong. Gung Salong. Yes. 
deep fried prawn left with egg noodles and this one called sate luam prawn chicken beef and pork and the other is tom yam soup and for the main course i have prepared the deep fried sea bass with sweet and sour sauce mm -hmm. and stir fry malincho leaf with egg and dark curry with pineapple and lychee please enjoy your dinner thank you very much can't wait to try looks amazing thank you chef Noo. Kopo thank you. Kopo Kopo Kopo. Kopo. well ladies and gentlemen it's just extremely amazing dinner and i think we need to start with these appetizers just like Chef Nu said, shrimp together with egg noodles. Let's try these malenjo leaves together with egg. This is one of the most popular dishes in southern Thailand. Ideally, ideally cooked. Mm, wow. I'm really curious about this curry, duck curry together with pineapple. Mmm, deliciousness, mind-blowing, wow. Fatty, slightly sweet, absolutely amazing. All right, and let's try Tom Yam Kung, the legend of Thailand. Tom Yam Kung was the first spicy dish I tried in Thailand, in Bangkok. I was burning like hell, but now, if it's not spicy, then it's not tasty. And at the end, let's try this fish, deep fried fish together with sweet and sour spicy sauce. Deep fried sibas, if I remember right. Mmm, really good. What an amazing dinner, guys. And I gotta continue enjoying it. and wait for the fire show, of course. It's 9 a.m., but I feel more sleepy than ever. <laughs> this is a very long adventure. The ride, the whole tour is gonna take around eight hours because we are going to Angton Marine Park and there are quite many islands, I gotta say. But something tells me it's gonna be exciting. Trust me, it's gonna be exciting. <laughs> Always sit at the back side of the boat because this is a speed boat and if you'll be sitting in the front be ready to jump
The food is not spicy, of course, but it looks very delicious and majority of people coming on this tour are foreigners, which is why you don't have to expect spicy food here. Now we are going to climb, now we're going to hike up to the lagoon, which is located right inside of this island, saltwater lagoon, with beautiful emerald color. It is absolutely amazing. The colors, fantastic. I went to this lagoon 10 years ago and I remember there is another viewpoint close to the water and usually tourists miss this viewpoint because everyone is enjoying with the highest viewpoint of this lagoon. However, there is another one. Let's check it out. But it was so amazing, even though I went here 10 years ago, it still looks incredible. Really fantastic natural attractions of Thailand. Highly recommend this place for visiting. And the weather is changing again. I can see rainy clouds coming in our direction. But so far we were really lucky. It was a hot, sunny day. A really enjoyable day. Ah, monsoon season, what else you can say? Guys, this is another highlight of our today's tour. This is Aoka Beach, probably one of the best beaches around the entire country. And no wonder why it is certified with Thailand Tourism Standard, because it looks just mesmerizing. The sand, the location, the greenery, the water, absolutely amazing. There are lots of natural attractions in Thailand. Islands, waterfalls, caves, mountains and beaches, all the beauty that we love Thailand for. And Thailand Tourism Standard aims to preserve and maintain such natural attractions by setting guidelines for their management and development of the sustainable tourism. There is a wide list of requirements for beaches in order to get certified with Thailand Tourism Standard, such as tourism value, preservation management, potential in organizing tourism activities, accessibility, landscape management, cleanliness, waste management, safety measures, security, and many more. And besides this stunning beach and this amazing area, there is a trail leading somewhere to the viewpoint and while people are enjoying the sun, the sunshine. I want to go up and check it out. Maybe you will get a nice panoramic view there. But Chancharat Natural Trail was also certified with Thailand Tourism Standard. It is a 500 meters hike with four viewpoints along the trail and each of them provides different perspective of the islands around. 300 meters more in this direction, up and up. Yeah, but this is my style of holidays. Ah, sweating, enjoying. I can feel this grin on my face. I'm smiling again, I'm happy again. Getting up and down requires about 40-50 minutes. There are ropes and rest places, and to be honest, the hike up takes some effort. But getting to the top of the cliff is really worth it, as there you can enjoy breathtaking landscapes of the entire Angton Marine Park from the bird's eye view. Very good, very good. Unfortunately, this is not the end yet. The journey up to this viewpoint took around 20 minutes, non-stop. However, comfortably, it may be 40 minutes. And five more minutes, 50 meters in this direction. This is the major viewpoint of this island. So we can see the beach, we can see other islands. And if you ever 
travel to Thailand or watch some travel videos, you might have seen this view because this is, let's say, the landmark, the iconic view, the iconic landscape of Koh Samui, of Angton and Suratani. These islands, really fantastic. And I can see the other islands already covered with rain because the weather is changing really fast. <laughs> Which makes me believe that the way back to Koh Samui is gonna be quite bumpy and wet. But anyway, I'm already wet, so there is nothing to worry about. Just let's make it. Where are the champions? You and me. Well guys, this is it. It was a great experience. I have really enjoyed this tour and I want to thank the Department of Tourism for the invitation. Thailand Tourism Standard covers all dimensions of quality tourism. It's enjoyable, safe, comfortable and unique, and I'd recommend you all to experience it on your holidays in Thailand. Visit tourist attractions and choose accommodation certified with Thailand Tourism Standard. You just need to look for the symbol of happy elephant raising its trunk. It was a great day and fantastic adventure. And we even have a chance to enjoy the sunset, my last sunset on Koh Samui, because this week I'm leaving the island. But there will be new adventures, the road is calling. We will continue exploring Thailand, but I really hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you have enjoyed it, you can hit the like button, share this video with your friends, subscribe to the channel if you aren't already, write a comment, Turn the notifications on so that you won't miss the new episodes. And I'll see you in the next video pretty soon, somewhere else in Thailand. Ah. But Koh Samui was amazing. I love it here. Bye-bye.